the reason I say with you, I said when we were alive that maybe in maybe in hindsight I shouldn't have dropped that bomb on you. But again, I only was doing it for your best interest at heart because I really feel strong that I understand what happened. If the roles were reversed and a guy did that to the woman, it would be horrendous. And that's what I had, I had voice message. It would be the end of the world. The guy's a dick. That he went over there, had sex with the woman, let her down, and then sent her a text message. Eh, sorry. You know, my family's not really happy for it. So goodbye. I got what I wanted. I got sex out of the situation. It was a it was a great five days. Bang the daylights out of you. See you later. You know, if roles were reversed. I agree. So, you know, It'd be a shitty thing to do for a man or a woman. Yeah. yeah. And that's how I feel like what got happened to me is she got her vacation, um, had a wonderful time, had this wonderful man, treating her wonderfully, had great sex, everything going. Eh, bye. See you later. Um, my family's against it. Uh, it's too much of a gamble for me. Maybe my life is meant to be here and I'm devastated and I'll have to just move on. And that's yeah. what I'm stuck with, you know? <laughs> yeah, I that's a hard that's a hard pill to swallow. It is a hard pill to swallow. And like I said, I've been through not exactly the situation, but pretty damn close. So that's why I say I can really advise you. I, I understand Slavs, how they think. They think very different than us. And I've analyzed this thing out the wazoo too when it happened to you, because we're we're all just awestruck, like. Holy shit, we thought it's the Hollywood romance story, you know? Yeah. And then when it when it went sideways, we we're like, wow, what happened? So we all um kind of did our digging. We did quite a bit of digging. <clears throat> we had a team meeting about you and about Irina. And you know, this is such a sad story, what happened. Um, because we we have to understand what happened as well to and because if if ever we're unsure about a girl, we just remove her. You know, rather than take a chance that something could happen again from our team meeting, we um, we said, OK, how about um, Olga Petrova messages her and say, listen, uh, we would like to talk to you. Um, something like that, or we'd like Jana to talk to you because, you know, she knew Jana from the, yeah, the, from the video the, call. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And we thought oh, maybe that's more a softer way to go about it. Well, it just fell on deaf ears. We never got any response back. So we could yeah. never connect with her. Um, our intent was to try to understand if she was lying or if it was like what happened, really what happened. Yeah, that was, that was our intent. And nothing ever happened. Nothing ever happened on that. So yeah. that weeks and weeks went by. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. And then... When we didn't hear from her, we just removed her from the database. Yeah. And then the reason I say with you, I said when we were alive that maybe in maybe in hindsight I shouldn't have dropped that bomb on you. But again, I only was doing it for your best interest at heart because I really feel strong that I understand what happened. You know, we, it's all a guess to anybody, but I have a lot of experience. Yeah. Fifty first dates and however many relationships, I have a lot of yeah. experience and sad stories myself. Um, so that's why I said, I'm a hundred percent sure that was probably not like I'm 95 plus percent sure based on something that happened. And I'll share that with you. I mean, I would like to share that with you. I think you need, it, it seems like you need to try to get some more closure if, if this helps at all. I don't know. I'll share it with you. It's not that big of a deal. Well, yeah. well, it is, it is, and it isn't, I mean, it's all water under the bridge, but would you yeah. like me to share what I learned? Yeah. Yeah, okay. sure. So what happens is somebody that I know quite well um, emailed that, hey, did you know Irina is on another site? And I went, no, I didn't know. And, but she had already been removed by Match Guarantee. She was already, yeah. this was maybe, I don't know, a month plus later. So yeah. What does that tell you? It, it, it does tell me, right, that she's still looking, foreign man is okay. It's not one of those as the. Yeah. And yeah, I could, I would take, you could take it both ways. She's looking for an, another foreign man or she's just looking for another man to just do the same thing she did to me. You know? I mean, it, hopefully, I don't you know. Know her, hopefully you know her enough from that relationship. I thought I did. Understand I her character, I did. like her, her, um, 
Yeah, her, I thought I did. I thought I knew everything about her. I mean, when you spend as much time as we did talking and being as intimate as we were together, yeah, I thought I did. But hindsight's twenty twenty. I mean, now maybe I mean for her to to just end it, and and I'm glad it ended when it did because for me, I'm saying to myself and now, and it and and it's hard for me now because I have to look at every woman differently. But yet, if she would have did that to me up, while she up, was here. Up. Up. What do you mean you have to look at every woman differently? Why? Because right now, be before I started to, to get back on the horse, I'm looking at everything as I'm going to be treated the same way as she treated me at the end. Like if I suppose she would have came here and then just said, oh, it ain't working out. Bye. See you later. And just went off into America with somebody else or went back home. Like I have to get I have to get myself past that fact where. The Ukrainian woman's just going to end things just like that without talking about it, without communicating. Like, if I say something wrong or there's just a miscommunication, I it, it came off wrong, and you're not going to give me the chance if if I don't mean that much. Meanwhile, you're telling me how you love me with all your heart and you want to marry me and I'm so beautiful. But if one little miscommunication, you can just like that, snap your finger and it's over. That's hard to... It, let sink into your brain like that a woman any woman whether it's australian or american or england or wherever that they're just going to end it just like that without actually talking about it billy, that's billy let me clarify for you because i again I'm, I'm trying my goal is to help you understand them better it's yeah. not any little misunderstanding okay that she's just going to not talk about it and un unplug you it's not yeah. any. it's deal breakers with deal breakers here's how a slav thinks is there any can this change can this yeah. change in her mind in her heart if it can't she's just that's a deal breaker by definition yeah. she's just gone i'll give you an example of a deal breaker on my side of it you could say i was like irena on the other side and just broke up and was with an was an asshole to a ukrainian woman you could say that we were together and we were even living together like we were gonna be married and have a family she had a child but guess what oh, i right. at the end of the day she told me she didn't smoke when we started and then later on i find out she does smoke intermittently yeah. but i have asthma and do i have allergy induced asthma and cigarette smoke is the number one worst thing for me just sure. getting a whiff of a smoke tr triggers my asthma and i need my puffer and etc it's a big deal for me so i called her on it she said she'll quit and she'll quit and she'll quit and eventually you know she didn't quit and i decided it's a deal breaker and i just said i can't do it anymore yeah All right now there were other there were other reasons behind it. it wasn't just that but that that's kind of an example from our side yeah and let me paint the picture from arena's side and i'm just going to i'm going to kind of assume what was in her mind okay this yeah. is my assumption of what's in her mind and why she left okay it's my guess my best guess okay um because i understand you you're like well why didn't she leave me earlier we had all of this great and it was only five days but it was part it was part of her experience and so she experienced you of course she likely wanted to stay with you she she likely was honest when she said I mean, it would take a sociopath. I mean, I really highly doubt it, especially seeing how she was and stuff like that. It's not the, I don't see the earmarks of a sociopath. It's yeah. me from the outsider looking in. But what, what I think happened is that somehow as communication went on and as things progressed, she started to see, she started to A, become afraid, which is normal about, giving up everything that in her world and moving to America, they sure. start to become more and more afraid. And I've seen this a number of times. I saw this with a client where the woman pulled the plug. Um, the K-1 was approved. They'd been together a year. Uh, she had spent months with him in America. And at the end of the day, she said, my mom is sick. I can't go. I can't leave my mom behind. And you just, and she pulled the plug and she didn't yeah. go. So you, again, he's he was like, he was just devastated. Sure. And you ask yourself why you try to talk to her. But Slavs, 
you know, once they make up their mind, boy, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I, the, I, so, I haven't heard from her, and I haven't messaged her, and it's just pretty much, yeah, and you won't. So, yeah. so what? Again, back to, I would assume what happened is, she's, first of all, got the fear like every Slavic woman does, and it's our job to, you know, <laughs> try to understand what the fear is, even even be a you know, a bit of an empath and understand, okay, probably she's afraid of this. Or so, but it's always around safety and security. Um, yeah. most, okay, there is some fear about, okay, I'm leaving my family, my friends behind. So maybe safety of the parents. So all we can do is really pour it on. Listen, <clears throat> I love you. I'm going to take care of you and your family and make sure she really understands and feels it. But there's the thing. Here's the tricky part. And it's really tricky. Uh, it's got to be action based. They, they yeah. don't give it any regard. It's like one out of ten. Sometimes it's even <laughs> a negative thing if you say it. They'd rather you just do it. Yeah. Um, so that this is the really tricky part because it's not innate in our culture. We say stuff, and it carries more weight with a with a Western woman. With the Ukrainian woman, it just doesn't carry any weight. And yeah. so it starts to see. Okay, he doesn't own his flat. I understand. She knew that, and you're like. If she knew that and she had a problem with that in one of your voicemails, yeah. why didn't she tell me? Why didn't she leave me? Whatever. And it's not that it was a deal breaker at that point, right? It was like these things start to accumulate. Her fears start to get the better of her. She's got she makes two thousand dollars USD a month in her job in Ukraine. That's yeah. like four X average. Yeah. So, so she she has a good living even though it's a war zone and she's in the military and and all of that but that was just an excuse she can get out of that and that i confirmed she can get out of the military so that that's not true yeah. um once they decide and listen i had this exact situation of i'm dating somebody uh we're we're talking serious i'm certainly thinking serious but she started to see in me lack of financial security because you know my story. I came to Ukraine. I was divorced, bankrupt, and homeless. Yeah. Now, yeah. I don't yeah. say in that exactly, but she started to see it in my patterns, my spending patterns, my verbal word patterns. She knows I don't own a home. And if, yeah. you, if you rent a home, it's the same thing as you're homeless. You got to understand this. You, you think... You think there's a lot of weight. I heard your voicemail. 28 years. That's got to be stability to her. No, not at all. It's rental. It's rental. It's just the way they think. You know what Anna's mom sent Anna a message um, just the other day. It's a, it's a, it's a Australian study showing how um, if you don't own your home, you die younger because of all the worry. She's not, happy that, she's not happy that right now we don't own in Canada. Yeah. She's worried for her daughter. Again, yeah. it's really ingrained. You know, it's really ingrained. So that's all I was trying to, Billy, make sure that you don't, you eliminate as that, that as a possibility to cause the relationship to fail in the next relationship. And maybe, yeah, because it took me. Not one time, not two times, not three times. I swear to God, it took me more than that to catch it. Yeah. You know, become clear on this and then to just change it and shut up about. I eventually learned with you with Ukrainian men's mentorship to shut the fuck up about money. That's what my friend, my cop friend told me, Joe. Yeah. Shut the fuck up about money. That's what he said to me, word to word. Every time <laughs> we went to the banya on Saturday, and I'm with 10, 15 naked men drinking beer and vodka and fish and sala. And they, yeah, they don't just don't talk about what they own. And they just don't talk about it. So eventually I changed my verbal structure and I just eliminated money from it. Yeah. And I little actions, flowers. You know, it's not much, but hey, if it comes every month or something like that, hey, 100 bucks every month, you know, yeah. and then once you're feeling that this relationship is going somewhere and that could be two months, it could be two weeks, it could be two weeks, um, you start financially supporting them. It's very important. Again, it's yeah. just don't talk about it. Just do it. Just say, hey. Um, and I did try to do some of that. I did try to yeah. just send her money randomly and stuff. Yeah. And uh, we had only one or two communication like, conversations about, you know, a home. 
And she's actually generally seemed excited that she was going to come here and we were going to do it together, get a house. So that's what just was confusing. But I, again, I'm not going to know what was going on in her head. <laughs> I'm not her. And yeah. Who knows exactly. what that is. Billy, I'm, just for clarity, I'm not saying you made a mistake. I'm not saying it's not about mistake. It's about, you know, all we can do when these slabs just bye bye and pull a Hank Snow on us. Yeah. See you later. All we can do is is try to figure out what what caused it and learn from our maybe mistakes. Yeah. Right. I had to. Yeah. Do no, that. I played over my head. Did I say one thing wrong? Two things wrong. Yeah. But all I know is we from from my point of view, we were in love and we were going to be sharing our lives together. So that was just the devastating part. That I had my family involved. I mean, I had my grandkids here on video with her. My daughter. I mean, I involved. I mean, yeah, I sucks. I had everybody was all invested in the relationship. I was trying to show her the support system that she would have even when she came here. It wouldn't just be me and her that I had people yeah. around and she would have friends and family here. You know, so I tried to do, you know, the best of what, what I could with what I would have. So. And, you know, Billy, you did you did as I see it, as Jana sees it, as everybody sees it, you did, you know, like everything right. You know, like you did you you. It's not like we're bit ganging up on Billy. Even I know. Even we were shocked, like Olga Petrovna and Tatiana, um, the matchmakers in the office, they were shocked. They were shocked about her sexual side as well. And how yeah. like, that was like, whoa. Actually, we didn't even tell them the extent of it because that would have yeah. been too much for them to handle. But they're like, yeah. oh, something strange with this. And hey, people are different. I think she just is a highly sexual. Yeah. Woman. There are some women that are like men sexually, you know. I've yeah. read it. Well, she had told me all she had constantly told me she was only with her husband for 20 years. And it's pretty much um, it got routine like it was just him just banging her. And that was it. He didn't bring, bring her any pleasure or anything. So she I think she had all this sexuality built up inside of her and it started coming out and she was using it. You know, we got set. And when we were together in person, <laughs> I mean. The things that happened, I mean, and the she, thunder shook, yeah, the yeah. I mean, the, the, the Poland shook, it was just like, wow, this woman, you know. So I felt like we were so in sync. And then when I'd given her the necklace and what she did for my birthday, you know, it was all these things. And I'm like, and then just psh, just walked away, like, so that was what I'm moving forward. And it's brutal, I know, my friend, it's brutal. It's we'll see what happens. I'm I'm gonna take your advice. Wait a few more days, and then I'll 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 send a message to Oksana and see what happens. Hopefully, I'm hoping that she messages me first, just because. Yeah. You know, it would make it would definitely make things easier. I so. know it's brutal when you when you go through the, what you've gone. Yeah, through. Sure, sure. You get a text breakup from Arena. It's brutal. Been there, done that. Yeah, that, that's you, hard. You gotta, you know, do your best not to bring that forward in the yeah. next. That. Leah, Leah. There's people outside yelling and stuff, so she's probably ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I know I know it's tough. <clears throat> I had to do that myself, right? Not to bring that insecurity because it, it it creates, I mean, it did for me, created a sense of insecurity. And I, yes. I get that feeling with you. It's like, it's like, yeah, uh, is she gonna do that? This one gonna break up me by attack. So, but just gotta ditch that. You really yeah. gotta ditch that. Um, there are many fish in the sea, and mm, we'll see where it goes it's a it's a journey each time yeah it sure is <laughs> so all right i gotta get ready to leave for work but this was a good conversation yeah um yeah. we'll stay in touch and uh you. wish you all the all the best with oksana and um if yeah. not oksana i have that other one that said yes so we can always go to her <laughs> yeah that one we really don't think that's a match yeah that's why we like didn't it. yeah yeah, because gotcha. I, I talked to Tatiana. I said, "Which one do you think is the best?" In fact, she she doesn't recommend you even try. I mean, yeah. we know her history. I mean, we know every lady's history with us, right? So, sure. we kind of look at history. What does the lady want? And Oksana is very serious. Um, yeah. You know, she's very serious. She's very sincere. Well, all right, my friend. We will talk. Day, I'm yeah. sure we'll be talking more. <laughs>